Have you ever wondered why vultures often seen circling ominously in the skies are critical to our ecosystem? These majestic creatures, although often misunderstood, are an integral part of nature's balance. They are the unsung heroes, the unseen champions of the natural world, performing a vital function that not many would volunteer for. Vultures are nature's cleanup crew. They consume the dead, preventing the spread of diseases and keeping the environment clean. It may not be the most glamorous job, but it's one that's absolutely necessary for the health of our planet. Their unique feeding habits are a marvel of evolution, with their highly acidic stomachs able to digest carrion that would be toxic to other animals. This allows them to feast on the remains of the deceased, transforming death into life in a never-ending cycle. Now, you might be wondering where these creatures exist. Well, vultures have a wide distribution. From the soaring peaks of the Americas to the sprawling savannas of Africa, from the vast expanses of Asia to the historical landscapes of Europe, Vultures can be found almost everywhere. They have carved out a niche for themselves in these diverse habitats, each species adapted to the unique challenges of its environment. Yet despite their importance, vultures are often viewed with fear and disdain. Their association with death has given them a grim reputation, leading many to overlook their significant role in the ecosystem. However, without these feathered custodians, our world would be a much dirtier and more dangerous place. The carcasses they consume would instead rot and fester, becoming breeding grounds for harmful bacteria and pests. So, the next time you spot a vulture circling in the sky, remember that they are not just harbingers of death but symbols of life's intricate and delicate balance. They are the unseen heroes, tirelessly working to keep our world clean and safe. Despite their grim reputation, vultures are unsung heroes, keeping our world cleaner and safer. Imagine soaring high above the ground, scanning the terrain for your next meal. This is a day in the life of a vulture, a creature of resilience and adaptability. The day begins with the first rays of the sun. As the world below awakens, the vulture takes to the skies. With a wingspan that can reach up to nine feet, these birds are built for long distance flight. They ride the thermals, columns of warm rising air to gain altitude without expending energy. A vulture can spend hours in the sky, scanning the ground below for the signs of a meal. And what a meal it is! Vultures are nature's cleanup crew. They feast on the carcasses of animals that have died, cleaning up the environment and preventing the spread of disease. Their highly acidic stomachs allow them to digest carrion that would be deadly to other creatures. It's a thankless job, but a crucial one in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems. But it's not all work for these birds. Vultures are also social creatures. They often feed, fly, and roost in large groups. A gathering of vultures is aptly called a wake. They communicate with each other through body language and vocalizations. Their social dynamics are complex and fascinating, with daily interactions that include everything from playful aerial acrobatics to intense competition for food. At the end of the day, as the sun sinks low, the vulture returns to its roost. These birds prefer high, inaccessible places, like cliffs or tall trees, where they can rest safely away from ground predators. As night falls, the vulture settles in, tucking its head into its feathers and surrendering to sleep. A vulture's life is not just about death and decay, but also about survival and adaptability in harsh environments. Each day is a testament to their resilience, a dance of survival played out in the skies. Their existence is a reminder of the intricate balance of life and death, a cycle that they play a crucial role in maintaining. Did you know that a vulture's stomach acid is strong enough to kill harmful bacteria and viruses? Quite the conversation starter, isn't it? These fascinating creatures have evolved a unique and somewhat unnerving way to survive and it all comes down to their eating habits. Vultures are known for their preference for carrion. That's a fancy word for dead and decaying flesh. They are nature's cleanup crew, swooping in to consume the remains of animals that other predators have left behind. But how can they stomach such a diet without falling ill themselves? Well, that's where the vulture's superpower comes into play. Their stomach acid is incredibly potent, potent enough to neutralize harmful bacteria and viruses that would wreak havoc on the systems of other animals. This means they can happily munch on diseased carcasses without a worry in the world. It's a unique adaptation and one that places them in a vital role within the ecosystem, preventing the spread of diseases by effectively disinfecting the remains they feed on. And speaking of feeding, have you ever wondered why vultures have those bald heads? 
It's not a fashion statement, I assure you. This is another ingenious adaptation. When vultures feed, they often have to delve deep into the carcass, and having feathers on the head would make it difficult to keep clean. So, nature's solution? No feathers on the head, it's as simple as that. This baldness helps them maintain hygiene and avoid infection, crucial when your dinner table is often a rotting carcass. While this might seem quite grisly to us, it's all part of the vulture's day-to-day -day life. They've adapted perfectly to their role as nature's sanitation workers, equipped with the tools necessary to thrive in their unique niche. So while their dining habits might seem repulsive to us, they are a testament to the vulture's incredible adaptability. But these incredible creatures are in peril. Did you know that many vulture species are facing extinction? Yes, it's a grim reality, but vultures around the globe are under threat. Let's explore the key dangers that these birds are facing today. First up is poisoning. Vultures, being scavengers, are often the unintended victims of poisons laid out to control other predators. They feast on the poisoned carcass, and in turn, succumb to the toxic substances. Accidental poisoning is a significant threat, but there's also deliberate poisoning. Some communities poison vultures intentionally, viewing them as pests or omens of bad luck. Habitat loss is another key issue. As our human population expands, we're encroaching on vulture territories. Forests are being cleared for agriculture or urban development, leaving vultures with fewer places to nest and hunt. And as if that weren't enough, the food supply is dwindling as well. With stricter controls on waste disposal, there's less carry-on available for these scavengers. Lastly, there's the risk of collision with wind turbines. As we shift towards renewable energy, we're erecting more wind farms. Vultures, with their large wingspans and soaring flight, are particularly prone to colliding with these structures. This, coupled with electrocution from power lines, is causing a significant number of vulture fatalities. The decline of vultures is more than just a loss of biodiversity. It's a ripple effect that impacts the entire ecosystem. You see, vultures play a crucial role in preventing the spread of diseases. By consuming dead animals, they effectively clean up the environment acting as nature's waste disposal system. Without them, carcasses would rot, attracting other scavengers and spreading diseases. So, the threats to vultures aren't just a concern for bird lovers, they should concern all of us because their decline is a sign of a broader environmental crisis. The loss of these unsung heroes could have serious consequences for our world. Let's not wait until it's too late, the time to act is now. So, what can we do to help these underappreciated champions of the ecosystem? Well, there are several ways we can contribute to the protection and preservation of vultures. One of the most successful methods has been through captive breeding programs. These programs, run by dedicated researchers and conservationists, work to increase the vulture population in a controlled environment. Once the birds are strong enough, they are reintroduced back into the wild, bolstering their numbers and ensuring their genetic diversity. Legislation also plays a crucial role in vulture protection. Many countries have laws in place to prevent the use of harmful pesticides that can unintentionally poison these birds. Stricter laws are also being implemented to penalize those who intentionally harm or kill vultures. These legal protections are a significant step towards ensuring the survival of these essential creatures. But perhaps the most powerful tool at our disposal is education. The more we understand about vultures, the more we can appreciate their vital role in our ecosystem. By debunking misconceptions and spreading knowledge about their behavior, habits, and benefits, we can foster a deeper respect and appreciation for these birds. This, in turn, can inspire more people to support conservation efforts and protect vultures in their local areas. We all can play a part in this. Support organizations dedicated to vulture conservation. Advocate for stronger environmental laws. Share what you've learned about these amazing birds with others. Every action, no matter how small, makes a difference. Vultures are more than just scavengers. They are cleaners, disease controllers, and crucial players in our environment. They are part of a delicate balance, a balance that we disrupt at our own peril. By understanding and appreciating these remarkable birds, we can ensure they continue to soar high above us, keeping our world clean and balanced. Let's give vultures the respect they deserve and the protection they need for the sake of our planet and future generations.